video, I'll show you how to play If You're Gonna Be Dumb, You Gotta Be Tough by Roger Allen Wade off the Jackass 2 soundtrack, um, the way my band, the Smut Colors, played it on that soundtrack. Um, but before we begin, remember to like this and subscribe. I'll be posting new videos each week and leave a comment what you like, what you don't like. And if you uh, appreciate this channel and wanna help support, um, you can leave a super thanks or you can also sign up for a membership for 99 cents a month. You can vote on the video that I do each week and all those things are very much appreciated. It helps me keep this channel going and here we go. All right, so this song is pretty straightforward. Um, it's really only one chord progression. There's three chords in the whole song and it's the same chord progression all the way through. The song is in standard tuning and it's in the key of G. And um, in order to show you the intro, I'm gonna show you the chord progression first. So it starts off with G. Then it goes to a C. To a D. And then back uh, to the start. And so when I'm playing the G, I'm playing a two note power chord um, with a slide. So it's a, it's a one step slide. Um, and then when I go to the C and the D, I'm doing a three note power chord. beginning of the song there's an intro and the intro is based off of that chord progression so when when the rhythm would be playing a G I'm playing um, this uh, kind of intro lead in a, the G minor pentatonic and it's like a Chuck Berry style so I'll be playing it in the third position and then when it moves up to the C I'm gonna slide up to the eighth position and then when it goes to the D I'm gonna slide up to the tenth position and then it goes back to the G. So um, breaking that intro down, it's going to be Chuck Berry style bend. So I'll play the first part slowly. So, so you're bridging your index finger on the third fret and pushing at the fifth fret of the G string with your ring finger. Continuing, it's just a uh, descending pattern. So one more time slowly. And we're gonna go up to, it does that twice. Then it goes up to the eighth fret. And this is very similar in the beginning. And then this other kind of like bluesy Chuck Berry style thing where you're going to hammer on from the eighth to the ninth fret of the G string. And then you're gonna bridge your index finger at the eighth fret of the B and E string. So. And then you're gonna slide up to the 10th fret and it's going to be another very similar. And it's just the same thing that, that. Then you go back down to the third fret and do a similar pattern. So here's the whole intro through slowly. alternate picking on some of the faster parts, some of the descending parts, because it gets a little fast. 
Um, but um, you can play whatever's m more comfortable for you and um, just kind of start off slow and build it up faster to get up to that speed. So the song basically repeats that same pro chord progression throughout. And then it comes to this stopping point where there's this chanting, you, if you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. And um, the, right before that, it goes like. <laughs> kind of a sharp stop but it's the same rhythm with that um, that G chord that you played before it just stops abruptly then about halfway through the song there's a short solo and like the intro it's um, I'm gonna play it over the G chord on, in the third position where, where the root is the G on the low E string I'm gonna play in the at the eighth fret uh, over the C chord which is also a C and at the tenth fret uh, on the, over the D chord which is also a D and the solo goes like this. So breaking down the solo, I am going to play um, a bend with my index finger at the third fret of the B string and my ring finger at the fifth fret of the G string. And I'm going to bend up to the fifth um, fret so that it the, the note matches the third fret. And then I'm going to pull off, so I'm going to go. So, and that can be kind of tricky, so you, you're basically, you do that bend three times. And then you do this bend and release. And you're gonna do that whole part twice, so slowly it's. to the 8th fret and you're going to bridge your index finger over the 8th fret of the B and E strings and you're going to do uh, these bends pushing with your ring finger at the 10th fret of the G string. And um, at the very end, so you do the bends. your ring finger at the 10th fret of the G and B strings and then your index finger at the 8th fret of the G and B strings. So. Then you're going to do the same thing at the 10th fret. back to the third fret position this and then this time you're just going to hold that that last note at the fifth fret and do a little uh, vibrato so all the way through it end there's this kind of repeating part where it goes through the chorus over and over again and there's two guitars on there um, Sean is playing um, these bends and so it's very similar um, over the C chord he's playing at the eighth position and then over the D chord at the tenth position and then over the um, G chord in the third position so like what he's playing is basically and um, and then I'm playing kind of like an improvised type thing 
Um, I'm not going to go through exactly what I'm playing because it was pretty much different the whole, each time and it was pretty much improvised the whole time. But what I'm playing is I'm playing in the, the G minor pentatonic in the third position. So. And, um, but mostly I'm playing within that scale in the, uh, I guess, probably A, D, G, and B strings, maybe a little bit on the high E. And I'm playing like something like this. But just kind of like ad libbing, the, the solo is in G, so you can pretty much play that minor pentatonic throughout, no matter where the chords are. So like, if you're even if you're playing the C, you can play in that position over it. And then I do play like some higher notes um, um, over the C and D chords. So like, I'll play at the 12th fret, and then the 14th fret. So like, 12th over the C, and the 14th fret over the D chord, and then go back to the. Um, down to the third position. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll be posting new videos each week and leave a comment what you like, what you don't like. And if you feel like leaving a super thanks or becoming a member, it's greatly appreciated. It really helps me keep this channel going. Uh, memberships allow you to vote on the video that I do each week. And there's also other perks. And uh, I will see you guys next time.